everybody and welcome back to another video today i'm going to figure to show you how you can fix your uh and your but your game crashing at the black screen okay basically at the loading screen okay basically how you can fix any game actually uh, this is normally um for any game but most likely it's going to work for your gta v normally what you need to do is actually to make sure your drivers are all your drivers are up to date that uh, that being said actually um the drivers are your especially your gpu drivers okay so how can you make sure you have your GPU drivers installed? If you have an NVIDIA um, NVIDIA card, when you right click, okay, you have to something called NVIDIA Control Panel showing over here. If you do not have this showing, okay, that means your drivers are not installed. Another way you actually can make sure, another way you can know if your drivers are installed or not. Also for AMD, you're actually going to have something called AMD Catalyst Control Panel, like you know, over here with the, with the AMD logo over here. Another thing is actually uh, to make sure if your drivers are installed or not, go on to your display settings. And then when you go on to your display settings, go on to advanced display settings. Okay. And then when you're in advanced display settings, you're going to click on display adapt adapter properties. Now over here, this is, you need to make sure this is the, the exact same gra graphics card that you're using is showing up here. If it's not showing up here and showing like uh, anything else, okay, you, then you need to make sure your drivers are installed. Basically, for NVIDIA, you have to install your NVIDIA's uh, drivers, and for AMD, you have to install your other AMD, your AMD's driver. And you need to make sure also on uh, any other, um, we have to open, first of all, Device Manager by clicking with Windows Fs and searching for Device Manager. And on Device Manager, you're going to go on to Display Adapters, and make sure all the Display Adapters over here are up to date. So you can make sure this is go on here, right click, and then click on Update the Driver, and search automatically for drivers. Click on that, and once it's that the best drivers are installed for your, drive, for your device, already installed. Now. Once you have this, you need to make sure something called DirectX 11 and um, micro and Microsoft Red Set Visual Studio um, is installed. Now, first of all, we're going to start now to make sure if you actually have this the Microsoft Visual Studio installed or not. Is actually open Control Panel, and when you open Control Panel, you're going to switch this to, to category. Once you switch it to category, you're going to click on Uninstall a Program. Now, if you want to know if it's installed or not, make sure all of these, okay, are over here. Microsoft, Microsoft Visual C++, 2005, redistributable, x64, and x86, x64, all of these are installed, okay. If they do not show up in the control panel, install program, you need to install it. How we can do this is actually go on to uh, any browser that you're using, and actually, the first, uh, we need to install uh, DirectX 11. You're going to click on download, you're going to search for DirectX 11, click on download, and then once you click on download, you're going to click on save. Okay, and then open it, and then it's going to show, and then it's going to show up um, an administrator. You have to click on yes, and then next, and I accept. Next, uh, uncheck install the Bing bar, and then click on next, and it's going to install it for you. Now I do have DirectX installed, so it's probably going to tell you, um, tell me DirectX, DirectX is already installed on your device. So yeah, um, now once you have this, you're going to click on next. It's going to start installing, and all that is is installing. Okay, uh, you're going to search for um, Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable Latest Support Downloads. And you have to download all three of these, okay? You have to download this and this. You have to download the first one, okay, the x84. Okay, and you have to download the x86 and then the x64. Now, once you have all these downloaded, okay, and now as you can see, the components and solder are now ready for use. Now I installed DirectX. Okay, now we have these. Now we're going to start with the first one. We're going to click on it, okay? And once you click on it, we're going to click I agree, install, okay, administrator, yes. And once you have all this, as you can see, setup failed one more issue because I already have it installed. Now you're going to click on close, okay? The next one is the VC Redset AX86.8.8.exe, okay? And we're going to click on I agree, install, okay, administrator, the same thing goes again, okay? And it's going to start installing. And the same thing goes for the X64, okay? Um, it's installing right now. Um, now, as you can see, uh, you must restart your computer. I'm going to restart it later after I install the X64. Um, now, uh, I'm going to click on X64. I agree. Install. Okay, administrator. Yes, and it's going to start installing. Then you have. Uh, then after all, oh, after you install this, you're going to restart your game. But before you're going to restart your computer. But before you restart your computer, one thing you need to do is actually click on uh, GTA the uh, shortcut. Click on Open File Location, and both of these you need to do whatever and follow what I'm doing. You're going to click on it. Okay, and then click on properties. Once the properties compatibility and um, put it on run this program in compatib compatib um, um, on compatibility mode for Windows 7. Okay, and disable full screen optimization and run this program as an administrator. And click on apply and change uh, setting users for us uh, settings for all users on both of these. Once you change it, you're going to restart your computer and launch the game, and hopefully it's going to work. So yeah, guys, that was it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.